court-ordered execution of Troy Anthony Davis has been carried out. The time of death is 11.08 p.m. On September 21st, 2011, the state of Georgia put Troy Davis to death, despite overwhelming doubt as to his guilt. The world was shocked. Had an innocent man been executed? People had demonstrated all over the world to stop Troy's execution. One million signatures calling for clemency had been gathered, and Troy's execution broke records on Twitter. Despite this mobilization, we lost the battle for Troy's life. Yet because of this mobilization, we are winning the larger struggle to end the death penalty. Troy asked us to never give up. You know, we can correct all the wrongs, but we just continue to stand together, and that's what's most important. We need to continue to stand together and educate each other, and don't give up the fight. We are keeping our promise to Troy and the Davis family. In the years since Troy's execution, our movement has had success after success. The Gallup poll showed the lowest support for the death penalty since 1972. The governor of Oregon placed a moratorium on the death penalty. The European Council banned export of lethal injection drugs. Fewer people were sentenced to death in 2011 than any year since the death penalty was reinstated and executions reached a 20-year low. Connecticut repealed the death penalty, becoming the 17th state in the U.S. to abolish. A report was released proving the innocence of Carlos de Luna, who was executed in Texas in 1989. Two people slated for execution were exonerated. 140 people in total have been released from death row due to evidence of innocence. When Amnesty started working for abolition in 1977, only 16 countries did not use the death penalty. Today, 140 countries no longer execute. We're determined to add the United States to that list. There's much work still ahead of us. On November 6th, Californians will go to the polls to vote on the death penalty. Help us get the message out to vote yes on Prop 34. Amnesty needs your help campaigning for other death row prisoners whose cases highlight the grave flaws in the system. We will not forget Troy Davis. We will continue to fight until the death penalty is abolished. We can live without the death penalty.